two different ways to look at the Chinese economy. One is in terms of the absolute growth rate, it's coming down and it's coming down significantly from the highs of the 11% to 12% five years ago, let's say, to the current 7%. However, the size of the Chinese economy has increased significantly. Uh, in 2010, the Chinese GDP by official exchange rate became larger than that of Japan. By, but by now, the Chinese economy is already more than 230% that of the Japanese economy. And uh, as of last year, the Chinese economy, in terms of the purchasing power parity, became larger than that of the United States. And the Chinese economy is still growing. Each new percentage growth on a much enlarged base of the Chinese economy probably would equal 2% or 3% GDP growth several years ago. So I would say that while the absolute growth rate in China is coming down, the new addition to the Chinese economy on an annual basis is becoming larger. That's one way to look at it. Secondly, if you compare the Chinese GDP growth with that of the United States or any of the European countries or Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, for example, it's much higher. I think if the Chinese GDP growth can maintain about five percentage points net growth rate higher than that of the United States, in about seven to eight years, the Chinese economy, by using official exchange rate as the benchmark, will be bigger than that of the United States. So, in a few years' time, the Chinese economy will be bigger than that of the United States, both by official exchange rate as well as by purchasing power parity.